Hello financial investors and welcome to the channel. In today's video we are going to go over on M1 Finance how to remove and liquidate your accounts. So in this case I'm liquidating two taxable accounts and moving all of the capital back over into my checking account where I will then move it into a long-term account that I'm planning on using. And in this case, I am planning on moving from or out of M1 Finance, Robinhood, Webull, Merrill Edge, and on those four platforms, I'm consolidating all on Fidelity, which allows me to invest in taxable accounts, retirement accounts, HSA accounts, custodian accounts, so I can open up an account for my child at a later time. It's just one all-in-go platform, and now with free trades available at Fidelity and partial shares, that is the main broker that I plan on using for the long term, so that's why I'm going through and liquidating these accounts. So with that said, if you are brand new to my channel, have not yet subscribed, definitely hit subscribe down below. If you do enjoy this video, find it helpful, entertaining, give it a thumbs up, make it blue, and if you have any comments or questions going over anything in today's video or are considering liquidating your own accounts at another broker such as Robinhood, I want finance and such, let me know down in the comment section below and let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you guys tuned in on my Monday's video, I did say that I was selling a stock from the M1 Finance account. Now this happened to be the Vanguard S&P 500. ETF. Now I sold it at $608.11, or that's what the value of it was. Now at that time, I said that in this process, what you want to do is always oversell. And what that means is here, when I went to sell this, I punched in $800. Now I only had $608.11 of equity invested in that, in that ETF and I put in $800 here. Why did I do that? Well, if we come over here into the account, you'll see here that if we look at the activity and we did our sell here, it sold the shares at $609.39 of equity. So that's just about a dollar and some change more. So if I had just put in this value here of 608.11, I would have still had a dollar sitting in VU, which I don't want to have had happen. I wanted to completely sell out of it, so I put in $800 into the sell, and it sold anything plus whatever the next day would have, you know, the value of those shares would have held and I had $609.39 sitting in cash. Now, I did have also two dividends that had been paid out prior that had not been reinvested. So 233 and 284 plus the equity here from the sale of $609.39. And that is why we have that $614.56 sitting there in cash available to withdraw. Now, this whole process here, I was only invested in one ETF here. I'm probably going to do the exact same thing over at Fidelity. I don't like to have to manage my money on multiple accounts. So for the majority of the time, I just have one account where I'm individually picking stocks. And on all the other accounts or just on every other platform, I just kind of set it and forget it using exchange traded fund. So in this case, we're wanting to move capital out. So here we'll just head over into the transfer and we can see here that the last time that we really transferred equity into here was nothing here for, for this specific account. This is for my Roth IRA. So here we're going to go ahead and select move money and we're doing a one-time transfer from our taxable account to our checking account. And here we're wanting to put in the full amount there of $614.93. And we're going to go ahead and hit continue and confirm. Now, it's going to ask you that you're confirming your liquidation. This whole process is going to result in the account liquidation, meaning that, you know, it's just basically going to go to zero. So if you were doing this without selling your holdings first, you could actually end up with less money or possibly more money depending on market fluctuations. So here, if you were looking to sell or liquidate your account, but you still had a ton of holdings in your account, this whole process might result in a greater or less amount. But in this case, because we actually have sold everything out, I'm going to go ahead and accept the liquidation. And this is going to move my 614 dollars 
and ninety three cents six hundred and fourteen dollars and ninety three cents interesting that that is there I didn't think I punched that in but I'll have to rewatch if I manually punched that in or if that's uh, what was put in there by them but that is essentially what's going to happen here so now we have the activity we have we already performed the sale so this capital is going to be moving over into my checking account and when it does hit my checking account I'm then going to be moving it over into Fidelity now I do have another taxable account and in this account we did have a few holdings here it wasn't very much it was only it was I started this with a hundred bucks as sort of a fun growth style account so in here we just had a few of the FANG stocks within here and out of here I just sold everything out of here we started with a hundred bucks for now 142 so it's pretty well overall so exactly the same thing that we're going to be doing that we did at the other account we're just going to go ahead and transfer and here we're going to do the exact same process once this thing loads there it goes see we haven't had any transfers in quite a while since we set up this account so we're going to go ahead and select transfer one-time transfer we're going to go ahead and select from our taxable account into our checking account and we're going to go ahead and put in 142.74. Does it let you go over? Oh, it does let you go over. Okay, so I may have punched it in manually on the other account, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and once we have that amount entered in there, reconfirming that that is the amount of cash that we're going to be withdrawing, and confirm. And it's going to do the exact same thing here. It's going to ask you, do you want to liquidate your account and in this case yes we're liquidating our account this is all in the grand you know the whole process of this like the whole reasoning behind this is just that my wife and I have taxable accounts well we did have them over at Robinhood we had capital over there we had them and each of our individual taxable accounts here on M1 Finance, you know, she had a taxable account, I had a taxable account, I have a taxable account over Robinhood, I have a taxable account over on Webull, I believe I have a taxable account on Merrill Edge. So we are consolidating and just selling out of these taxable accounts. These are all long-term capital gains. This account has been going on since July 25th of 2019. I waited a year to do this because the last time that I actually purchased anything was back on July 30th of 2019. So I've owned these shares all for one year or more. So these are all on long-term capital gains tax. So I will actually be taxed less versus if I had held them for 365 days, but I held them for 366 days or longer. And now I'm getting taxed at the long-term capital gains rate. So I was able to take advantage of the full return of the shares plus I'm not getting taxed at my full income tax bracket. I'm instead just getting taxed at the lowered long-term capital gains tax rate. So that is it as far as what we're wanting to do. We're liquidating two accounts. It's only about $800, $900 of equity. And we're going to be moving this over into Fidelity, which is our new go-to platform for all of our taxable accounts. Eventually, we'll have all of our retirement accounts there. And I'll be opening up an HSA there in the future. And potentially in the in the future, 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 you know, opening a custodial account where I will be able to have my child invest in the stock market and kind of learn the ins and outs of that platform as well. So that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have also considered liquidating other taxable accounts or even transferring retirement accounts. In this case, I didn't want to transfer it. Transferring taxable accounts unless you have thousands of thousands of dollars in the platform it doesn't make sense in this case I only have 142 bucks it's long-term capital gains I'm not you know so I just went ahead liquidated it and transferring the cash and then once I have the cash in the new account because Fidelity does allow partial shares I will just be able to use the app and move that $900 into partial shares of VU or maybe some other growth companies my 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 goal on that platform and the taxable account is to invest, I believe maybe just in VU, but I may also just buy some growth stocks within that account. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, if you guys have not yet subscribed, subscribe down below. Hit the 
thumbs up to make it blue, and of course, drop me a comment saying hello, and that is it. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.